follow, the people you are connected to, the kind of friends you associate yourself with, tells me who you are in life. Hallelujah. Is somebody here? The person you look up to, I was telling some people that there are some mothers of the land we look up to. There are some mothers of the land, like Mama Rita, we have uh, Hayward Mills' wife, we have um, Mama Takiya boy, we have uh, Papa Steve's wife, we have those people that we look up to. Because there was a question somebody asked me, that woman of God, the Tommy Tuck and the, uh, the uh, whatever, life or whatever, the, the person asked the question, woman of God, is there anything wrong with it? I said, there's nothing wrong with the pair, the one you're looking up to. There's nothing wrong with it, it's your choice. But those that I look up to have children and they have wealth. But the wealth have not told them to go and do lipo or tummy tank. So therefore the people I know and I look up to are not telling me to do tummy tank. Let's do spirituality as that. So sometimes they want to ask you a question to put you in a corner. So that they will be able to use that and say that you said tummy tank is not good. And it's not good. That one, you can't you can tell me what I should say. It's not good. It will never be good. Lipo, it's not good. It's not from God. For that, I will say it with no fear. Nobody can do me anything. But the fact is that who you look up to tells me where you, you end up in life. Because somebody will tell you that because you don't have the money, that is why you are saying what you are saying. But the mothers I'm looking up to, Mama Christy, and the rest, they have all the wealth, they have all the connections, they have all the best pastors, the best doctors, anything they want they can get. But none of them is doing that. So therefore, if I even put spirituality aside, and I want to walk with my carnal eyes, the people I admire, they don't do that. So therefore, I won't do it. Because if you learn from those who have been there before you, it helps you not to make some mistakes they made. <laughs> Who's reading for me? Oh, yes, beautiful. Go. Ruth chapter 3 from the verse 1. Yes. At that time, Naomi, her mother-in-law said to her, my daughter, I must find a home for you. So it said, my daughter! I must find a home. It's not Ruth that must go and look for a home. If you work with the right people, they look for greener pastures for you. You see, let me tell you this. If you work with the wrong people, they destroy your life. But if you work with the right people, they, they direct the path God wants you to go. He said, my daughter, for I have worked with you for some time. I have seen your loyalty and your honesty. Will I not find a home for you? Will I not find a home? Because some of the time the people work with that pair, what they can get from us. They are not serving us because they want to serve us. No, they are serving us because you need to pay them. They are serving you because when you are traveling, they can be part and be in the plane with you. That is why they are serving. But there are people that are with you. Even in your bad times, they want to be with you. In your weakest point, they want to be with you. They are, they are dying just to walk with you. They don't care what they lose. But we are in the church. We are people that follow us. Let the man come and you don't pay them. You see attitude. Me, I don't pay anybody in my life. Because nobody pays me in my life. So if you follow me, oh yeah, no ko. Can you come here? Oh, ah, yeah, ko. Can you? Oh, ah, Nobody pays me in my life. And I thank God nobody pays me because God pays me. And when God is paying you, it's not what man can pay you. Even when men are paying you, there's limits. They give instructions. Don't go there. Don't come here. No. But when God is the one using you, he, he, God using you is something. Anywhere he'll push you. Even when you're tired, say go. You will go. But there is this joy in you that whilst I am being useful to God, I have this joy that it's a place I am going to. I am making a mark. You see, it's not the money we get out of it, but the people that their hearts and their lives are being saved for God. That alone is too much. Sometimes when you look at yourself and see how God is using you and where God is taking you, it is enough. Now, what me show loyalty in Ruth. He said, I have tried you. When I even gave up, you became a strength to me. 
I have searched your heart. Nothing has changed even when I am down. You are still proving yourself that you were a daughter. You are proving yourself that no matter how I end up, you will still stand with me. He said, from this day, I, Naomi, will I find, will I not find a place for you? Will I not let you get to a place that I made my mistakes, but I will make sure you will not make the mistakes? Will I not give you peace where I find destruction? Will I not give you peace? Because I have walked this path before. I have made my mistakes, but thank God I've seen you. Ruth, you will not do the things I did wrong, but I will make sure you do the things right. Where I make my mistakes, Ruth, you will not feel there. It is time to get your Naomi before you can get to your Boaz. Boaz may be waiting for you, but until you connect to Naomi, you will never meet your Boaz. Is somebody here? Boaz is waiting, but until you meet Naomi, you can never connect to Boaz because your Naomi is connected to Boaz. Jehovah will help us. Jehovah. Jehovah will help. Read for me. Read my dear. Now Boaz, mm -hmm. in whose female servant you worked, is our close relative. He said, listen, Ruth, come. I will give you a place you can enjoy. There is somebody I know, Boaz, is connected to me. He's blessed. Let me teach you, Ruth, how you can be connected to this man. Read, my dear. Look, tonight he is winnowing barley at the threshold in Florida. There are many women at the field where you, Ruth, you want to go. And those women are qualified, beautiful, has class more than you. But Ruth, you won't go with the class. You won't go with beauty. You go with the direction of God. I don't know whether somebody is here. Whoever has taken over from your life, uh, don't be worried because you are connected to your Naomi today. And by the connection of your Naomi, you will meet your Boaz. Uh, by the direction given to Ruth, uh, she followed as Naomi told her. He said, hey, when you go there, don't seek what the other women are seeking. Seek what God wants you to seek. There are, there are women, no? There are other women, no? The other women of God, they are there. They are there on my own. Because I'm not seeking what somebody is seeking. I'm seeking what God has told me. And that's what I'm following. I am seeking it. And I seek it with every, every strength of my life. You know, some of the people don't know what it takes to get connections. Some of the people meet people and they are their destiny connections. But they don't respect them. You will be there to 20 years to come. Until you realize who the person is in your life. Your boys will still be waiting. Until you realize and respect who your Naomi is. Your prayer can't do anything. Let me tell you this. There are levels of prayer. And there are places prayer doesn't work. So tell yourself, me, I can pray. Pray 20 hours. The stressings and, and restrictions will stop you. Because until you connect to your Naomi. Oh, prayer. So you meet some people and they, and they feel, uh, what? I try, what? Sister, calm down. My brother, calm down. No, until you meet Naomi, she may be the rejected one. Because when Naomi was coming, she said, don't call me Naomi. For the Lord has not dealt well with me. A woman that spoke against God. But she's the same woman that God needs to lift Ruth up. Don't look at their falling. Don't look at their mistakes and despise them. The one you are despising is still God's favorite. <laughs> you don't know. The one you are despising is God's favorite. The one you have seen their weakness, God still loves them. He said, David is a man after my heart. Even though you know the weakness of David, I still love him. So some of them, they want to judge us by the things they know about us. So, if you know, so what? It's an old lay. God leaves some people. Listen, I don't brave my enemies to die. They should leave. So that they will see the Lord laying at them. The things they say we can't do, they will leave. My enemy will not die. They will leave. Because they need to see and witness. After they see it, they should die. Because if they don't see, they won't believe we serve the living God. Until they see. And they see the manifestations of God. And some wretched stones like us. They won't believe God even in their death. They must leave. 
Me, I don't pray for anybody. Those that will die, few ones. I mean, their death is not necessary, so everybody should leave. But if you deserve death, we'll fire you. God will finish you. Me, I don't have your time. No, I don't have time for praying, kill who? Kill who? If you want to leave, leave. I'm praying for strange oil. I'm praying for another connection. I'm praying for divine favor. I'm praying for divine connection. There's a lot of work to be done for God. I wouldn't waste my breath on you, Ty. The moment I stand with God and I follow as he directs me, nothing of the enemy that touch me. He said a thousand shall fall and ten thousand shall fall. I will just observe with my eyes. I will see them working, but they can't touch me because there is an embargo upon my life. There is a hand upon my life. I want to speak to somebody. It doesn't matter those who are against you or those who are speaking against you. Focus on this God and the mandate He has given to you. The rest you handle it for you. A deeper There is a work to be done. I wouldn't waste my time. Father, connect me to my Naomi so I can get to my Boaz. It is my Boaz that will bring my generation to pass. Hey, connect to Naomi. Connect. Connect to Naomi. We are not here to waste our time, Mister. I will do prayer correct. Jehovah, open me up. Favor me, Lord. Open doors for me. Connect me to the right people. Adios, sir. Take me to places so I can speak your word. There are some youth waiting for us. There are some old men waiting for us. We need to encourage them. Speak the word of God to them. Let them rise up. He said, they shall, they shall be destroyed. He said, thousand shall fall and ten thousand shall fall. One thing I love. He said, even though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of the... I can't preach without Psalm 23 in my life. I can't. I'm telling you. It's not possible. Because he's my shepherd. When I thought everything had gone. And I looked left and right and there was nobody. He still told me, don't worry, I'm your shepherd. Don't, worry, don't, be, don't be scared of the lions that comes around you. Don't be scared of the fire that will come around you. Don't be scared of the voices against you. Don't be scared of the evidences they have against you. You may have an evidence against me. I am not scared because the Lord is my shepherd. You may bring your arrows. I am not scared because the Lord is my shepherd. Yet though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I may go through pain. I may go through affliction. I may go through disappointment. But the Lord will still be my shepherd and the time is coming he will lay a table there's somebody here may the Lord lay a table ministry is not easy one of God it's not easy so me ministry I don't know anybody I love our mothers I celebrate them I love them from, from, from the back from the back from the back. we are learning so much more I don't want get too close. I don't want to be familiar with anything. No, I don't want to. I want to respect the oil till I die. I'm not too familiar. I've never got to my Christmas place and sit on a chair. I'm always on the floor. When I enter, I say, Charlotte, sit down. I say, Mama, I will be here. In no ta, my touch tongue, my wound and my massage my hub. When I'm speaking, I'm tapping into the grace and I'm doubling it. I won't be too comfortable and say that God has lifted me so I should sit on the same chair with you. We are no equals. When was I born? When you started ministry, where was I? I should rub shoulders with you. Disrespect in the highest level. I won't do, I'll be here. But feet, my, my touching. Yeah, no, my touching. No, you sit there. I said, Mama, don't say, I'll sit here. Everybody want where they want to be. I touch I know what I'm drawing from your feet. Where the Lord has taken you. I want to go far. In the battles. Any moment with the oil. Don't play games with it. Any moment with the oil. Don't joke with it. Any moment with the oil. She can be your Naomi. Connecting you to your poor heart. You cannot joke with the oil. Or joke with the presence. Let me tell somebody. Without your Naomi. Your boss will pass you by. And wouldn't even see you. Because they are other better women around. Better people. Kata many at the school now leni e wo chair wo e. E me 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 nili. Let the school nimi yapu e. Iye mi keke. I'm just I'm just adding up to numbers. Cause they want representatives. Better. Cause representation. My fair work can't mahami. Cause I present. Cause uchima. 
In my way. Eba is a presentation for Jenny if you can't man if you're here. It's just that I'm rejecting me if you're here. You can't check. I want to be a Mama Charlotte group. I'm joking. Me, me, me. Okay, I'm going to let me. I'm going to I can't feel good. I'm refreshed. Be. Okay, then I'm mistaken. I've been a square and that's where I'm still. So I'm not my feel fast. You can't refer to me. Mama. This time, Mr. Lemon, I know it. It is a as an higher class like I said, I mean, but Jamie preaches from Moko. I've been in my back. It is like a few square. Like I didn't see a preach. Oh, no. Eh, but is it? She left one day. In Bomodin. In Bomodin. I saw Clap your hands for me. In Bomodin. Quamming back, I will turn a quamming back. I say, can't make a little go. Matasia, who got back. Can't get you. My young man, my English, my hand. I want English for the lecture. The question they've asked is different from what I'm writing. But because everybody is writing, I can't be sitting down quiet. It is not done. Or, Mangma, I start writing things, my own things I know I'm writing. I know what they've asked me, so what I'm answering. But I can't sit there idle. Like everybody will ask, the man of God, what are you doing? Matashi, two hours. No, no, no. I love scriptures. Man, man, be be man. So I know sometimes when they mention some of the lectures, they look at me and they say, "Hey, Reverend." I say, "I need to pass through. People pass me through." Except those who are wicked, that they don't want to favor me. They give me refer, but I don't mind them. It's level two. I'll finish it this time for them. All right, for them, no way. It is well. Mm. And so on the way looking for Naomi is not easy. Oh. It's so much struggles. So people don't understand it. People don't understand. People take things for granted. There are people when they meet you, they, they feel and so. Huh, it's, it's so. It's necessary. If you meet or you say and so, that all you can pay way for you for 20 years. If you lose that opportunity, 20 years you will suffer. Don't joke with some things. Some people meet oil and they think we are equal. You can be age-wise higher than me. But oil-wise, you cannot be if we check the level. Please, calm down. Because we are learning. We all learn. We are all learning. Anywhere I go. No, no, we all laugh, we we'll joke. It doesn't mean I can walk. I can walk in a way you can't talk to me. But what is the essence of it? What is the need of them? You feel big. It's good sometimes. Some people are so annoying, you know. But, you see, there's some things that can never change in some of us. Sometimes I want to be a little in your It can't happen. I don't know why. I've tried. It's not working. Sometimes I want to be gentle and nice and sit at one place. Like today, I went to TV to the interview. I promised myself I won't move. I'll be at one place. I'll talk very gentle and be nice. Before I realized, I was everywhere. It didn't work. I saw... When I feel, I say, hey, what is this? He said, let me accept it like that. Because I've tried everything, it's not working. Because today, that I told myself today, but it's a political thing, and they're bringing traditionalists and Christians. So I need to speak about God. God is a gentle God. He's a gentle God. He's a crazy God. No? So I said, that very nice. So I was very gentle, quiet. But before I realized, I was all over. The man that thought he was a traditionalist, now he began to say that, it's not that I, I, I worship idols. So I believe you go, ah, say a traditionalist. Me, I said, I said, go. Bring on, let me. But when we finish, he said, no, nobody should look at me. I said, I am the devil. I'm not the devil. I said, nobody say you are the devil. You defend your own, I defend my own. You can't come and st- tell me my God doesn't exist. Me, my God doesn't exist. I'm an example of God existing. So I will prove to you. No challenge, but me, myself, tells you God exists. So I finish him. An old man. Now he's finished. He'll come to my hospital. He has a hospital. Come. I can wash your kidney and your liver. I said, me. Come to the hospital. You that you don't believe in God. That I've just directed you to God. I should bring myself down to you to wash my system. No, I will go to the one that knows my God. The one that believes in my God. The one that can connect with me when we say Kadi Bataba, he will not look at me in a strange way, but also respond Kadi Patos Kadiba. That tells me we are connected in spirit. I should come to you, the one that says you don't know God. 
Do I know the spirit they are using there? And he said, help out, you know. Me, I should come. So you will finish me. I'm not coming. No, no, no. Okay, let's take a picture. I said in my spirit, Jehovah, this man, wherever he take my picture, fire will catch you. The moment she stood with me, don't look at me as, I'm, as a devil. Me, I, no, I, I, no, I'm just being a tradition. I said, oh, Papa, I didn't say anything. We just went to defend our God. I defend my own. You defend your own. Why are you, why are you having issues? Now, you don't doubt, you don't believe in your God again. You can't tell me that I saw a, 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 a sword on the ground. So what that man did is more than what my Jesus did. Is it possible? I fired him. I fired That got me angry. So I couldn't be gentle again. And we finished. How can I be gentle the moment I pick the, my, my mic and I stand on the altar? No, that is not gentility. You need to be crazy for God. The violence must take it by force. That is my portion in the Bible. Any gentility, that part I don't read. I read the one that says violence. So I am violent. So everybody find a place where you can locate yourself in the Bible. There are some places in the Bible where if you put me there, I can't be there. I want to be like the Elijah that can call. It's not a good one, eh? But I love Elijah. The people I love, John the Baptist and Elijah the Bible. Crazy people. And the Baptist doesn't fear face. You say it the way it is. That's why they killed him earlier. But I won't die like the way he died. I will change some ways. But I love him. He wasn't afraid of anybody. Elijah was a crazy man. That is why he, he didn't consider the children. He just commanded. Uh -huh. If you play with oil, or he will play with you. Elijah was a very, the thing he did, he's a very bad man. He wasn't ready to leave his oil. Not that he doesn't want to leave his oil. He saw all of them to be pretenders. They were prophets that were learning under the oil of Elijah. And they were the same people called Elisha and said, that this man you are following. If he dies, he won't give you anything. He's too stingy. Man, stay off and let him go. He said, eh, you were looking for material things. But there is something this man carries. Wherever you go, that is where I will be. There are some people that are in the church. They are men of God, women of God that are here. They are not here because of the oil. You know. They want to come. And they've heard that, oh, that woman of God can prophesy something will happen. He prophesied for them to go. Prophesy on what? What am I prophesying on? If I even prophesy and the foundation is not based on God or the word of God, it's fake, it's fallacy, it's a joke. So anywhere you see prophecy, you see them plenty there. After the prophecy, what else? Me be Bible me. Prophecy is good, though. It's good when it's based on the word of God. Uh -huh. But they want to hear your auntie's name is Kwame. And this one is Kofi. And you're happy. You know all their names. All you want to know is the one that is killing you. That's all you want. If you see the other one killing, what will you do? You kill them, Sam. You see, the issue is that our mentality of serving God is wrong. When Joseph had a dream, it wasn't just a dream. When the king called Joseph and he interpreted the dream to the king because the, the king is the one that had the dream. But Joseph had the revelation to understand what God was speaking to the man. The king asked, so what do we do? He said, I have solution for it. After the revelation, I still have wisdom to manage things. There are people that have the prophecy and revelation, but they have no wisdom to lead you. He was able to handle and, and keep food for over seven years. If you don't have wisdom, how can you do this? So getting the prophecy is not the problem. But you, the one receiving it, is the problem. Tonight, today, I want you to understand this. Let's not serve God as villagers. Serve God as somebody who is educated. Education is not only going to school. Education is learning. The traces. Learn the trace. What brought this issue? Why is it like this? Put yourself into that place. Why are you humble and tell God, teach me, Lord. Teach me how to do it. If God says, go and submit to Naomi, do it. You don't want to submit to anybody. We all want to be masters. Blessing will come if you submit. Mm. No, I'm going to tell them. They won't, they won't respect us. They want your oil. If, if, it won't work. And they, they don't respect some, some of them. They, they will meet you and they will even push you somewhere. You can't push my push. Oh, you are free. 
And I told my man of God, I'm going to go do some silly thing. And he sent audio to me. And the man of God to send another one to somebody. And that man of God. And the man of God asked me, woman of God. So when they send the audio, what did you do? I said, I reply. He said, for me, I've not replied. I said, go and reply. I have reply my own. Go and reply. He said, ah. I said, the moment I listened to the audio, right there, I replied him. I can't sleep over. I will reply you. Because you never thought before sending me the audio. I will also not think. I will send you another audio. If it's good for you, it's also good for me. When you have a headache, my touch in my foot. And I will be crying. You are sleeping okay. All of us won't sleep. Mm? Oh no, oh no. Go on, harm my walk. Oh, oh. And it's not possible. No, you see, the issue is that some of them think that because we are Christians, they can op- override us. But if they go to their shrines, they respect it. And it's time we bring them to that point for them to fear God and honor God. Follow the principles and you shall be blessed. If you can't follow, Obata Sheche. Hallelujah. I'm about to close. Whether you like it or not, I'm about to close. It's not, it's not easy. I'm about to close. <laughs> you call Nushi, boy, I mean, can't bang back. To so the moment you are here, put yourself into it. Let's, let's understand this. Because whilst I was reading, I think we were praying yesterday, and then um, that Boaz thing came in. Then I went to sleep and I prayed about it, and I was like, God. Um, so couldn't Boaz get a woman that he wants? Because he's a blessed man. So how long will Boaz live in that town without a wife? I, I was thinking, I said, ah, No. Boaz was a blessed man that people, he had thousands of men, women serving under him. He's a known man in that town. Any woman he wants, he can get it. Why, why was Boaz waiting? You see, if it's your Boaz, he will wait. If it's your Boaz. Because I don't get it. Boaz didn't even worry too much. Now, Naomi told Ruth, let me teach you. When you read another version, he said, let me teach you how to marry. The version you read was which version? He said, let me teach you how to marry. When you go, don't let Boaz see you. <laughs> hey. Some of you, you go and show your breasts and show that you want to seduce a man. There's some direction seducing, they, they can't sleep with you and they won't marry you. But the one that will go with the right direction from God, they will not expose themselves. They will be hidden behind the scene. But they carry the authority. And she watched for Boaz to go and sleep. And then she went under the feet of Boaz and slept and covered the man. Then the man said, hey, which kind of woman is this? That has come and covered me up. Let there be a woman for me. So Boaz didn't check. Because where Ruth is coming, is a Kesslando. They are cursed. So it doesn't matter the cursed land you are coming from. If your lineage is cursed, all you need is direction. That's it. Did you see now when we pray, Payabe, Kabayabe on Ruth? No. He saw the service of Ruth. And saw the loyalty in Ruth. He just, she just uttered words. He said, my daughter, shall I not find peace for you? Because of what you have done. Because of your service for me. And the loyalty you have shown to God. Naomi, I want to speak to you, my daughter. I thought I've lost all hope. But because of you, Ruth, I have gathered myself back. That there is hope again. Let me activate the oil upon my life. And let me speak over your life. Ruth said, mommy, speak to me. Naomi said, listen. When you get to Boaz's place, there may be other women around. But go by the direction Hide yourself and intercede. Hide yourself and pray. If you will listen to me, Ruth, you will go far. Hide yourself. When you see him asleep, do this direction. And Boaz shall be yours. Ruth followed and listened to the mother. And at the end of the day, Boaz saw Ruth. I don't know where you are. You may be hidden behind the scene. You may not be exposed now. But as you your Boaz coming to you he got it but oh will I find no peace for you I pray that today anyone looking for peace may you see the peace of God anyone waiting on God by 
by your faithfulness, uh, with your heart, uh, with your loyalty, may you find peace. And it shall be when he lays down, and that shall mark the place where he shall lie, and that shall go in and uncover his feet and lay thee down. And will tell thee what thou shalt do. He said, find the place this man will lie down. Go there, go and find it. We don't just find. We need direction to find. If you are coming to explain this, you don't know the direction. You'll miss the road. You need the direction where you are going to. If you get the direction, it brings you to the place. He said, when you go there, uncover his feet and lie down. That's the direction everybody needs. Maybe Boaz was looking for a woman that will uncover his feet, but never got her anybody. Maybe other women were just there to give him food. But Boaz was not looking for someone who give him food. He was looking for a woman that will uncover his feet. Boaz knows what God has told him. That there's that particular woman coming. If she uncovers your feet, that is the sign. When you read Genesis 24, when Abraham called the servant, he said, go and get my son Isaac a wife. When the servant was going, he said, oh God, give me a sign. I want a woman that when she sees me, she will give me water to drink and feed my sheep. That will be the woman for Isaac to marry. There can be other women, but I want to meet that woman that will feed me and feed my sheep. A woman that is serviceable, a woman that is humble. There is prescription. When you go to the hospital, they will give you prescription. When it comes to your sickness, every sickness has its own prescription. If you have HIV, you don't take malaria drugs. If you have kidney issue, you don't take malaria drug. If you have kidney, you took kidney prescription. If you are pregnant, there are medication you take. There are restrictions that you must follow. If a pregnant woman takes the wrong medication, you can abort your baby. Some of you, you have taken the wrong prescription. You have aborted your blessings. Some of you, you have followed the wrong people. Your blessings have been aborted. Some of you, out of ignorance, out of frustration, you follow wrong people. It has aborted your blessing. But I pray today, may the mercy of God connect you back again. I pray that today, may the oil of God that is on this altar connect you back again. If your blessing has been aborted, I pray that today, may the Lord plant a new seed. Adios. Every sickness has its own prescription. Every call has its own prescription. If you don't follow and you follow somebody's own, it can cause you trouble. Don't follow people's prescriptions. There are some drugs you can take. If I also take, it will affect me. So go and let them check what is good for you. Not because she's doing this. I also want to do some. That's how, it's, that's how it's happening in the kingdom. Because this one is doing this. I can also do some. Don't, don't make that mistake. There's every direction. And there is a purpose for every direction. Okay? I was coming to this church this morning. So when I was coming, I didn't park anywhere. I came straight because I know where I am coming to. So I came here. There are other churches I could have parked and go there. Nobody has called me there. This is where I was called. And this is where I must come. It doesn't mean that other churches are not good. But I've not been called there. So you cannot just enter any church and pick a mic and want to preach. Who has called you there? No, it can be the house of God. But you have no authority there. There are authorities in that church that goes by rules and regulation. It is only this place that I have been invited. So when I park my car, the ushers here will know that I am coming here. They will carry my bag and bring it inside. I wouldn't go and say, I am too anointed. So if I see any church, I will enter and preach. Who told you? It's not every place you have authority. Be careful. Be careful. There are places you are called to rule. Rule there. Where you are not called, go and sit down and learn. Go and learn. They called me as so I came here. I packed my car there. And I was comfortable to walk to the office. 
When I came, I said, put Netflix for me. I see the office is mine. I'm making orders. Because I have an authority here. As a sister, as a friend, I know when I enter. She can't come and tell me, walk out of my office. My office is here. I said, oh, no. So I stand there. It's for all of us. And it's for all of us. So I sat there and I watch what I want to watch. But if I had entered into a strange office, then I have not been given authority. I cannot even be given orders to enter when the security man meets you. Who are you looking for? Who called you here? Why are you here? You must come with appointment. But here, I have my appointment sealed already. So I entered. I went to office. I can went to washroom. If they have kitchen, I go to kitchen. If I go to fridge, I can go to fridge. Do you know why? Because there is a relationship. So because there is a relationship, there is that union of fellowship. So I have access to come. So if I have access, I can enjoy every privilege that is in this church. But there are places if you don't have access, you can enjoy because that is not your place. So don't jump to places that is not yours. Follow where you have been given. Follow your own. As I'm about to end, I'm going to lift up only three prayers for all of us. That today, Father, connect me to Naomi so I can see my Boaz. Anything that has made me lose focus, today, connect me back to my Naomi so I can meet my Boaz. In life, everybody needs Naomi. Because she has gone through it. She took a decision she didn't have taken. By moving because of hunger. Moving with the family. And out of that, she lost everything. There are people that have lost everything because of their mistakes. So, learn from them. Don't judge them. Don't judge. Because today they are with you. Should anything bad happens to you. The same people that were with you. Will be the same people criticizing you. But Ruth never, never looked down upon that woman. She said, Mommy, you can be down today. Opa said, I am going. Opa was pretending. She was just saying, we will go with you. We will go. They are like, there are people that they think, you think they love you. It's a lie. Yeah, Opa. May I didn't even mention Opa because I don't want to hear any Opa in my life. Because they, they, they make you feel as if they love you. They make you feel as if they are with you. Mommy, I'm praying for you. Oh. Mommy, oh, I see in my spirit. Hey, it's my Mr. Nepo. Ruth was quiet. Standing there and crying. Opa, you boys should go. My sons are dead. I can't get. Opa said, okay, oh. I wanted to go with you. But if you say I should go back, hmm, I will go. I see they don't want to go. They are, they are already gone. They are gone already. They are not with you never. They are people who are not, never with us. So. so until they leave, you will miss your boys. There are some people you are working with. You discuss everything with them. They will confuse you. Oh, don't go to that man. Go oh, this one. Forget. In the light. For years in the light. Oh, not for me. That is your upper. They want to distract you from meeting your right now for me to go and connect to your boys. Upper went back. Ruth said, where you die. I will die. If you make a mistake, you will still be my mother. If you are lifted, you will still be my mother. Nothing will change. Ninkabo, Wabago. Nikke, how can you follow me? You are a young lady. You have a future. He said, What is a future without a connection from the right God? What you carry is not education. What you carry is not anything. I see a God that can change situation. And therefore, I am not leaving you. I want me to say, Follow me, let's go. So when people were hailing Naomi, he said, don't call me Naomi for the Lord has not dealt with me. I could see Ruth just holding mommy and say, mommy, don't say that. Don't say that to the people. It is well with you. When she was speaking ill, Ruth was still with her. Then Naomi realized that this girl needs to be blessed. Until you say, until you connect right, you can meet your Boaz. Learn it. It's not amount of prayer you pray. Prayer is good, but the right thing you must do, say, say, connect right. Because if it wasn't service, Rebecca would have not married Isaac. It took service for Rebecca. So some of you will serve 
to Jesus will come. If I see you and I say, oh, hello, mommy, good morning. It doesn't change my name. It's not, it's nothing. But some of you, because you're educated, because of your caste, because of your level, because of your age, you want to be diplomatic. You want to go, I hope you're okay. Call your shikai, what I Show respect. Show respect. Show respect. All of you show respect. Oh. That will open doors for you. Because hmm? there are some people in my life, if I hear any opportunity, I won't call them. Never. And they know it. Never. You see, you see, men can hold your destiny. Don't joke with it. Yeah, men have authority. Yeah, men, God has given them authority. Learn and say. I am here with some people. There's some people in our brother who call me. I want a wife. Or, I know those men that calls me. Some of them I know that they are very good. I know women that I know. Young guys I know. They want husbands. I will never connect. I will tell them. You know something? Go pray. Let the Lord direct you. The Lord says, comes to me. Go and tell God. She direct you right. Because me, I don't give you any woman. Because the women I know, they are all evil. No, the reason why I say that is that even now that you are not married, you can show disrespect. And when you marry that man, and you've had enough of him, of that baby, if today you can show God has lifted you small, and you can show disrespect to God and his servant, it tells me if care is not taken, the same woman will go and disgrace you. And they say, oh, I was connected to uh, 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 that, that woman because of, of Reverend Charlotte. Why do you think bear? In Kaboya. Why eight years? If you won't learn, if you won't learn, if you won't learn, you won't serve. If you, you are not serviceable, who will connect you? Small thing, you are angry. Somebody step on you, angry. Then you can't marry you because in marriage, the, the only place It's a marriage. So if you don't have the heart to shut up and the heart of endurance and you want to follow this world people that says that, hey, if you do, get out and all that. Obama did 20 years, 20. Some of the things, shut up and stay mute and watch. And God will tell you, keep quiet. It's everything we want to keep quiet though. Some of the things we want to, Obama fair blows. But the Lord said, Shut up. It's a woman that can hear the voice of God. It's a woman you can introduce to somebody. Can somebody introduce you? Call, call, Osuban, call here and okay, touch him. Will somebody introduce you? You don't even, some of them, you don't even love. You see some of the young ladies, they don't even love. They're not welcome, you know. When you meet them, I found your face. Why have you found your face? I don't know how issues in your home. We all have. When you can smile it off. How are you? Good morning. You're looking good this morning. May the Lord bless you. Is there something I can do for you? Because you don't know the one you are meeting. Oh, squeeze go here, no touch him. Call now, make call for. Good morning. What is wrong with you? Having to be, where, where, which one are you coming from? Are you from the bush or are you from home? No, some things must be said right. You may have the prophecy and anointing, but your character will destroy it. Don't come and receive all you. You see them falling down. Hey, hey. Every day falling, shouting. Carter, you know, back to their own field. You are not presentable. You don't even know how to talk. You may have all the oil you carry, but your attitude, nobody wants to accept you. Let's teach you the right thing. Not the shouting is, the, is what is important. After the shouting, learn the necessity or the necessary about English. Any, any, any writing? Necessity or necessary? Be on your feet for me. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're going to lift up prayer. Only three topics. Only three. And put yourself into it. And Jehovah will lift you up today. In the name of the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Before I do that, somebody lift up a seed for me. Let me speak on the seed. Because when I touch the altar, the Lord said, let them sacrifice. Just lift up a seed for me. Let me pray on the seed. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the... Lift up your seed. Father, I lift this seed before you. We are placing the seed before we pray. 
any altars that will stand against our prayer. Jesus. Let the altar of God catch fire Amen. and destroy every evil altar. Amen. We put our seed as a sacrifice on this altar. Yes, Father, we are clearing the way for our prayer. Jesus. Let it be received and let it happen to us. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. put your seed on the altar for me. Put a seed there. Put it there for me. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Put a seed there for me. Adiba dos kadiba. Yadiba daba daba dos. Put a seed there. Yakandiba diba dos. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name. Lift up your hands. Sarah, go and pick a mic. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, give me the grace, me the grace to, connect to, to connect to my Naomi in the name of the Lord Jesus. The of the Lord Jesus. Father, help me, Father, help me to connect to my Naomi. I pray any hindrance against my life, anything that will stop me to stand with my Naomi. Jehovah, take it out. As I lift up prayer, I pray that Lord, you will help me, Lord. Help me today. Help me, oh God. Open your mouth and pray. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Everything, oh God, that is going to cause me to be disconnected. Help me, Lord. He Yakados, he Padibada, he Kadibados, and Ibadiba. Connect me, Lord. Connect me, Lord. He Kadibados, and Ibadia, and Ibadu, he Kandabadi, he Divinaba, he Kadados, he Yapadaba, he Yadadabi, he Kadibado, he Yapadi. Connect me, Lord, to my now 